speak a word. Oh, that men should praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful love to the children of men. For I broken the gate of brass and caught the bars of iron and thunder. Connect to the authority of the name, connect to the authority of the word. You are about to be blessed. Something great is about to happen now. As we lift up Jesus Christ through proclaim. 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 I welcome you to this kingdom hour in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. At this very moment, I'd like to share with you how to get the best from Jesus Christ our Lord and our Redeemer. And our focus scripture is going to be Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52. The passage is relatively long. I will only read to you just two verses. Verses 51 and 52. Jesus asked Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Teacher, Bartimaeus the blind man said, I want to see and Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has healed you. And instantly, the blind man could see. Then he followed Jesus down the road. From the passage, there are eight major requirements you need to meet in order for you to get the best from Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. The first one, perfect knowledge of who Jesus is. From Bartimaeus' experience, he believed Jesus was the son of David, the expected Messiah, the anointed one. His belief about Jesus Christ helped him to receive miracle from the Lord Jesus. In the same way, I want you to always have a very good knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. Let me tell you, Jesus is not an ordinary prophet. Jesus is your savior, your redeemer, your healer, your provider, your advocate what you believe about jesus is what you get from him so make sure you understand who jesus is and number two persistent eagerness for the best when people were shouting on Bartimaeus to keep quiet he continued shouting jesus son of david have mercy on me in like manner you need to persist on what you are going to get from the Lord Jesus and you will receive it. Persistence is very important and prevention of human discouragement and human intimidation is another thing. But Timaeus did not allow the crowd to intimidate him. He shouted, Jesus son of David have mercy on me and Jesus called him and he received his skill. Make sure you do not allow people's discouragement, people's threat, people's intimidation to prevent you from receiving your best from the Lord Jesus. Another thing, another requirement is precision in stating that very best you need from Jesus. When Jesus asked Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Bartimaeus did not waste words at all. He went straight. I want to see in like manner. Make sure when you speak to Jesus about the best you want to receive from him, be precise, be simple, be straightforward. Honestly, precision it determines, determines your miracle. So make sure you do that. Another thing is promptness in responding to Jesus' invitation. When Jesus said Bartimaeus should come, he was prompt. He, he, he got up immediately. When his garment was constituting hindrance, he threw it off and he went to Jesus. In order for you to get the best from Jesus, when Jesus invites you, please respond positively. When he calls you to receive his own rest, call, come to him and receive his rest and you will find joy to yourself. Remember, your faith also is important. Jesus' declaration is also important. But the one I want to stress again has to do with your permanent relationship with Jesus. When Bartimaeus got his healing, he followed Jesus Christ down the road. 
he became the follower, the disciple of Jesus Christ. In like manner, you need to have permanent relationship with Jesus if you want to enjoy the best from him. You should not allow anything to really take you away from Christ. Should it be your problem? Should it be the concern for the things of this world? No, nothing should prevent you from following Jesus. Create a permanent relationship with Jesus and honestly, you will receive the best from him. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this moment. Thank you because we know we can receive the best from Jesus. Eternal Father, I pray that you help my listener to be able to apply all these things he or she has had in order to receive the best from Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want every young one listening to me to know very well that you have been designed and destined by God to excel. I want every kingdom youth listening to listen to me clearly that God has not created you for failure. He has created you for excellence. I'm sharing with you the topic excelling in life. Excelling in life. From the book of Psalm, Psalm chapter 78, verse 72 Psalm 78 verse 72 the scripture says and David led God's people with integrity of heart and skillful hands David led Israel with integrity of heart and skillful hands this shows to us two things are very important if anyone will excel in life especially you young ones one integrity two skill we are in a generation that is plagued with immorality a generation that is plagued with people having like a attitude towards work we're in a generation where people are morally bankrupt but for kingdom youth it shouldn't be so because god has created you for excellence we are in a generation where people are living a lifestyle that does not glorify God. Integrity simply means sincerity. Integrity means truthfulness. Integrity means honesty. God is looking for young ones. God is looking for people. God is looking for youth who will maintain honesty. Honesty at your place of work. Honesty at your place of school. Honesty wherever you go. It simply means wherever you are, you must always stand for the truth. You must speak the truth. You must shout the truth. You must tell people that Jesus is the truth by excellence. Wherever you are, anywhere you are working in your place of work, let people know that you are standing for the truth wherever you find yourself. I want us to know something. And one thing you must know, that integrity is one of the all man to excellence. David maintained integrity. David was a man who was anointed by God at age 17 and the Lord Almighty brought him to position as the king of Israel. He assumed the kingship of Israel at age 30. David was a youth who maintained integrity. Though at a point in his life, he missed it. 
he fell into the sin of adultery but he repented from his sin and the Lord Almighty showed him mercy and favor I know there is no one who is perfect but God is asking us to grow into perfection integrity is very important the second thing we discover with David David was a skillful man he was a shepherd boy he knew how to lead the flock of his father and no wonder God brought him to position to lead his own flock Israel skill simply means the ability to do things well skill simply means the ability to work and to be diligent in your work you can improve your skills no matter the level you are now you can improve your skills through education through continuous education through schooling through training through professionalism you can improve your skill by learning from others who have gone ahead of you in that particular trade you can improve your skill by submitting yourself as a mentee to a mentor we're in a generation where people think they know all they don't want to learn but i want you to know that if your integrity will stay your aptitude which is your skill must come in in a simple calculation aptitude which is skill plus integrity which is your attitude will take you to the altitude let's put it in a simple way aptitude plus attitude gives you altitude and it is my prayer that as you move through this time you will excel i pray for everyone listening to me i pray for every youth i pray for every parent that as you listen to this word of life the lord almighty will grant you grace to excel the bible says in the book of daniel chapter 6 in verse 3 and the lord gave unto daniel excellent spirit no wonder he excelled among his peers and contemporaries i pray this day that the excellent spirit of the lord will fall upon you and you will excel in all that you do that jesus will rule in your life thank you eternal god in jesus mighty name we pray amen there's no one like you the king of all the earth you are the reigning king the king of all the earth i sat you i sat there i sat your crown on i sat you i sat down i sat your crown on Trust the Holy Spirit of God has blessed you through this ministration. Please send your testimonies, comments, and participation desire to inquiries at klifters.tv. Visit our website at www.klifters.tv or call 0817-777-7745. You are lifted because Jesus Christ is Lord. To wash and honor you, you are lifted, oh Jesus. We proclaim your holy name. Draw all men to yourself. Jesus, we proclaim your